I used to think that when I read the scripture, God would give me the desires of my heart. It was almost like Santa Claus. Like, if I'm good enough, I can get Santa Claus to slide down the chimney and leave the desires of my heart underneath the Christmas tree. We don't have to wait for this, you know, I'm craving love and someday God is going to come and drop it into my lap. No, 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 no. I think it's, it's a little different than that. The desire has already been given. The fact that you have that desire means God has given it to you. Proverbs 16, 9 says, The heart of man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his steps. I love this verse. I get to follow my emotional craving. I get to follow the thing I love and the joy and the excitement that's pumping up through my body from my emotions. And that is my plan. And then as soon as I put that plan into motion, God will establish my steps. That is the plan. God's plan for our life is not this esoteric or ethereal thing that we have, to, we have to guess at like a sonar detector. It's an experience of living in accordance with our own emotional cravings. I love this example. The tree. I love the tree. I mean, I, they're painted everywhere throughout my life. The roots push into the ground because of soil and sunlight and warmth. And as the sprout begins to shoot out and the roots begins to forge down, the tree has no choice. It is completely powerless. And as the sun shines and water is pulled up through the tree through evaporation, the tree grows and after a hundred years, this tree says, I had no choice in the matter but to be myself. I had no choice but to blossom and to let my body do the work, and that was God's plan. I didn't get to tell you how many rings I'll have, I didn't get to tell you where my branches came out, or what color or size or type of leaves I would have. It just was in me the whole time. And if we could see ourselves as these beautiful trees that have absolutely no choice except to blossom and unfold, now we're in the flow. Now we're unfolding God's plan for our life. Not this plan that we have to guess out, but a plan that was completely installed into the little seed that we were. So what is God's plan for my life? It's to follow my heart to trust God by following my heart, and I will arrive. As you're, as you're walking this life, wondering when God will drop your emotional needs into your lap, maybe just take a pause and say that the desire was planted by God, and now it's your job to go out and follow.